Before we get started, like and subscribe if you like what I do. Also, follow me on Facebook and TikTok. Maybe consider contributing to my Patreon to help me get more cool stuff to review. Anything helps. Let's start the show. Welcome back to Dash Reviews, where I buy stuff so you don't have to. Today we are looking at the Vahibi case with S Pen and the Eco Thin Hinge protector case for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. Sorry about my voice, not entirely sure what happened there, but just know that 88 miles an hour in a DeLorean does not work as advertised. First up is the Vahibi case with S Pen. It has full hinge protection, a built-in screen protector, a kickstand, and a place for the S Pen. The overall design is nice with rounded edges and a faux leather back. The hinge protector has a Spigen type grip and is held on with three rubber tabs. This one utilizes the magnet approach to keep it against the phone, but we will come back to that. The inside of the case has two diamond adhesive strips to attach it to the back of the phone. The kickstand is actually pretty stout and won't just randomly pop out the minute there is a slight impact on the case. Trust me, I tried. But this thing is not as nosy as that last kickstand I had. The front of the case has a built-in screen protector that is better than I thought it was going to be. Having it on changes the clarity only slightly and has no noticeable effect on the screen sensitivity. Now for the S Pen holder. It's almost like the one that comes with the Samsung flap slap case. It's flexible and doesn't look out of place. The best part about this is, if you want wireless charging or don't feel like having the S Pen with you that day, you can just rip this off. The bad part is, if you want wireless charging, you have to rip this off. Now for what I don't like. I honestly thought I was going to be rocking this case until the Fold 4 comes out. However, I'm not a fan of the material this is made out of. It's way more slippery than I would like despite the leather on the back and the design on the hinge. Speaking of the hinge, it has two magnets to hold it to the phone. As much as I love magnets, I don't like them on these phone cases. I had issues on the VRS case, and I have them here as well. And before anyone gets on here and calls me a fraud, the distortion you see is from the case and no hidden trick up my sleeve. Like I said before, if you are running fast, the chances of it affecting you are small. And honestly, you may not have a problem with it. I just don't like it. Sorry. Not sorry. The back of the phone is thick, but the sides are fairly thin, so I'm not sure how many drops this can handle. The magnets have a cloth on it, so it shouldn't scratch your phone hinge. The only real glaring issues that made me say no to this is that it doesn't fit the phone perfectly. It honestly looks like it's barely holding on, like the Walking Dead's plot. It makes removing it easier, but I'm pretty sure that wasn't the original intention. Since we're on the subject of removing it, take it away, Grogu! Now we are looking at the Eco Thin Hinge Protector Case. This is going to be a lot quicker. This one is basic, but in this case, pun intended, less is more. It's an all-in-one design with only one adhesive strip on the front screen side. No S Pen holder here, but that's okay. I'm actually okay without it. Truth be told, trying to find a case that holds my S Pen and protects my phone is annoying. So having this fit the way it does is a breath of fresh air. Let's get the obvious out of the way. You can probably get both of these cases off of AliExpress for super cheap, but I chose Amazon because if something doesn't fit, I don't have to wait a month for a refund and deal with emails that I can't read that also feel like a scam. That all being said, this is my favorite case for this phone so far. The hinge protector is unique in how it actuates and lays relatively flat when opened. No magnets needed, it just works. Opening the phone is a little more snappy too. The case is grippy and thick, giving it plenty of lip protection for the screen. The camera could use some more, but it's still not bad. All that security, and this case still manages to keep my phone as thin as possible? Awesome. It's comfy in my pocket, lays almost flat on the table, and is still able to wirelessly charge on my car mount while open. The only issue I have is the open space on the back that I think Duster Sand might get in. Whole alignment is great and fits it perfectly. So from this point on, this will be my main case until that unicorn of cases shows up. <clears throat> Quick update. I'm not rocking this case like I thought. I just killed it. For science. 
After putting it through its paces of daily use and pocket wear over an extensive period of time, I noticed something which gave me a slight indication that this case isn't that great. One acetone trip later, and I see that the grip and color is just... paint. Paint that, without really trying, disappears faster than a payday loan at a gas pump. And here I was, catching feelings. <sighs> so I took it out back, ended its chemical burn misery, and went back to another case for the time being. Long story short, these are mid-grade cases at high prices. Keep holding out, unless what I said doesn't bother you. That being said, outro! That's gonna do it for this one. Sorry I've been MIA for a while, but I promise I'll get back on track. We are nearing 300 subscribers, and I couldn't be happier. I have a VR episode coming up, and potential giveaway to celebrate. So, if you are into that, be sure to have the notification bell active. Thanks again for watching. God bless and don't forget, you are awesome. See you on the next one.